Hello, my name is Tanner Foster, and today I'm going to teach you how to do stop motion. Realistically, right, you have all of your images right here. Yeah, I took a lot of them. They're, oh man, there's 174 here. Oh wow. So you open up Premiere, you got a blank folder here, you got a blank everything, blank slate. What I did was I hit a new bin and call it footage. And then you just drop in all of your photos. I know, it's a little drawing, 174 photos, oh my gosh. Here they all are, here's all your photos. You got them all in, but you notice something, right? They're not in order. Oh, what are you gonna do? You're really gonna have to go through in order and find every single picture out of frame, like out of order? No, I have a simple solution to that. So down here, you get the icon view but then you have the list view. The list view will show every single one of your photos in order, as you can see. I took these images on my phone, so that's why it says um, in HEIC uh, file, but it'll work no matter what file. If you just click the top one and then scroll all the way down to your bottom one and hit shift, you shift click, and then just drag it into the timeline, boom. You got all of your videos, well, all of your photos in one. But the problem is, they're really long to be stop motion. Look at these. Each one's five seconds, I believe. So, I have a solution for that. Highlight all of them. You right click. You go to speed duration. And you just take it down. I like to go to two seconds. And then you hit OK. And then, yeah. Oh, fuck. And then you just ripple delete between every single one of these. There's probably an easier way to do this. Okay. I've, ne I've reached the end. So here it is. You have all of them together in one timeline. And then you just watch it. Oh, no. Two seconds was too long. These things happen. Two seconds is long. <laughs> yeah. Wait, ripple edit, what is this? 24. Oh! Oh, see this is the thing about tutorials. You learn stuff as you go. So, scratch everything I just told you. If you right click and you do the speed duration, it shows the duration right here and you can change it, blah, 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 this is your thing. But when you do speed duration, make sure ripple edit shift tra trailing clips is selected and then do this Bam! There's no in-between section. I really wish I didn't just waste a bunch of my time not knowing that. And then once you have it ready to go, there's your finished product. And then bam, that's how you do stop motion. And then it's honestly just a matter of dropping it in the timeline and then altering the speed duration. And then bam, it looks like a fluent clip. It will be harder the more, uh, it'll be harder on your computer the more photos you have. So, yeah, thank you for watching.